now we have uh, we have our, our our exteriors framed, and it's it's gonna be square because you uh, you like I'm saying you went from your you took your numbers your layouts from center, okay, uh, and came out the same uh, all the way, okay, um, not all the way, but you know what I mean, like you like each run, okay, this corner and this corner you're gonna come out the same. It could be different from this side, this side, this side, but you know what I mean, okay? There's gonna be columns in the corners. So a lot of the times uh, what we do is, if you can imagine, the, the drywall will uh, we'll just kind of run it past the column and then we'll uh, straight bar, straight edge over to here, make marks, install angle, install angle, and then drywall, okay? that and that's how we get our corners all right you just let it run past and then you screw angle the drywall that that's like that that is the drywaller's job okay it's uh steel stud guys don't do that but <clears throat> so now we're gonna lay out a, we're gonna lay out a wall and um it's simple okay the the hash marks on the drawings are gonna tell you which side of the exterior wall to pull your line from, okay? The hash mark is like a like a dash, an angled dash. If it's on the outside of the mark, you're gonna come from, you're gonna take your number from the outside, okay? If it's on the inside, you're gonna take your measurement from the inside, and it could also be in, in, the, middle, in the middle, all right? So outside, middle, which is center, okay? Which we take uh, center to center, or the hash mark will be on the inside. So basically what that means is you just, you put your tape measure where this hash mark is to pull your numbers. So, <clears throat> all right. So to make a wall that that comes this way, uh, it's pretty simple. Okay, you're just gonna draw your take your tape take your tape measure. Uh, depending on what, like, just gotta pay attention to. The, your, the, the thicknesses of your of your drywall and things like that. Make sure you need if you have to make any adjustments or whatnot. But that's it's just, that's math. That's on your prints. It's it is what it is. Okay. We're just going to be talking basically how we get our lines. Okay. <clears throat> now uh, we're gonna we're gonna come we're gonna we're gonna mark across. Make a mark. Make a mark. So down here. Okay. You're gonna keep your tape measure as straight and square as possible visually. Okay. You're not gonna you're not gonna end up like I said. You're not checking square okay you're just taking your mark taking a mark snapping your line okay and then same thing for this wall okay you're going to come off the exterior wall and and then we get your marks down here and here you snap your line so now okay we have walls how do we figure out this basic room here how, how do we figure out our 16s okay our centers our layout um it's pretty easy, actually. <laughs> we're uh, we're gonna come from the uh, exterior this way, the exterior this way. <laughs> okay, that's it. Okay, you're gonna go from exterior always in. Okay, that's that's pretty simple. That's easy. Okay, you don't you don't go uh, from the corner this this way or whatever. You know what I mean? Um, it, it's just that's just how we do it. So I always check. Okay, say there's a door here um, and and we're like hey I always want to make sure that the layout it, like the drywall is going to work what I mean by that is we we want to have a door frame that we can hook right or easily put together with a butt joint and, and a leg all right and a cut in so basically uh, if I just show you how we do it um, Okay, this is the door, that's a door, <laughs> all right? So what I mean by uh, that is, is we're gonna put <clears throat> typically a, a butt joint here, okay? And then we're gonna cut a full piece in like that. And then we're gonna put a little leg in, okay? Or it could be reverse. So what you want is you want to make sure your 16s are where they should be in correlation to the door. We want to have one, at least one above, right? One to two we get. I think most of the, a lot of the times there's two, but uh, yeah, it could be one to two studs. But you want to just visually check 
to make sure that this configuration for drywall is going to work. Hopefully that's not too confusing for you guys. Um, you just always got to be visualizing how the drywall is going to go on the steel, right? <clears throat> so if, if you don't like the configuration, then make adjustments to your 16s. It's simple. I, if it doesn't work this way, then you can try the other way, okay? If it just makes more practical sense, if you know what I mean, okay? Just, just always check for that. Just keep checking for your doors, make sure drywall works. Uh, so you get that, right? Uh, so uh, sometimes too, the, the, the stud, um, no, that's, I'm not gonna confuse you. That's, that, that's how we, we want to drywall doors, okay? With a butt joint, a full piece, and a, and a leg, okay? That's kind of that's kind of like yeah. Anyways, we don't need that. Okay, so now if we're uh, say now we're gonna do like off like a row of rooms or something, uh, we got a, a a a wall that goes this way all the way across, and there's it's like offices. Okay, I'm gonna stop it just before there's three there's three walls in there to get the long wall simple right we're going to go from this side like the far corner down here out make a mark up here measure across make a mark and snap our lines these two walls in the middle okay same thing we're going to go from either side make a mark mark snap our line but in a situation like this there's going to be it's going to be like this okay there'll be a door here Maybe a door right here, a lot of the times, and a door here, okay? And they'll swing open this way, this way, this way type thing, okay? Now, <clears throat> the reason why what we do now is the same thing, okay? You want to physically make sure that the centers, the 16s, will, will, will match, will work for all of these doors, okay? So just check. What I do is I'll run my tape across the one side, and I'll just visually check to see. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll run it the other way and see what that layout looks like. And then I'll pick which one's best, okay? So... It, it, it can come from either way. It doesn't matter. But like I said, I just physically check. I, I just, I'll run my tape and I'll just look and I'll see where the 16s are and I'll make sure that the doors are going to get hooked properly. Okay. And then um, I'll just pick my layout from, from that, from, regarding that. Now for these center walls, okay, it's the same thing. Okay. We always come off the exterior wall. Okay. Always draw your tape off the exterior wall. What's gonna happen here is the drywall is going to, um, it's gonna go, these are where the floaters are on the ends, okay? You're gonna have floaters on either end so that this floater is gonna lock in and this floater is gonna lock in. So this situation here is where you're gonna minus your, like also too, remember guys, if you're gonna add, add, um, add five eighths or half inch to your layouts, Okay, to your first 16, okay, your first center mark, add the 5 eighths or half inch. What Usually exterior walls are half inch, okay, on the inside, it's most of the time half inch. Um, and uh, any kind of mechanical rooms or whatnot or corridors, uh, oh no, I shouldn't say that actually, any kind of mechanical rooms, 5 eighths, but um, uh, this, all this stuff, half inch, usually half inch, okay, but you can easily tell from the drawings. Um, so yeah, dudes. And uh, you gotta also consider wait, when you're doing your um, uh, when you're doing your your centers for the exterior wall. Okay, let's just put this column back here. Column, column. Okay, you're gonna you always take your tape from the outside corner. Okay, so from where this wall will be. Okay, you take where this this wall is. You take your tape from that part. Okay, and take your sixteens from the outside of the column, from the corner, okay? And you carry that. So when you when the wall stops on either side of the column here, you still carry that 16 all the way, okay? And you don't stop your layout. So say your 16 stops just on this side of the column, you're gonna just make, make sure you have like, just like use a square or something if you have to, but make sure 
that picks up on the other side of the column, okay, it stays the same. Okay, you want your sheets to land always on, on four foot and eight foot uh, centers, right? The exterior will be lay down, so every eight feet has to be good. The interior will be stand up, so you need every four feet, right? So you gotta make sure the drywall will land. When you're in the situation here where you have these the dividing walls, okay, in between the uh, rooms, you can, you can uh, when you're drywalling the inside, okay, you can basically start your, your sheets wherever you want and just cut it to the middle of the backside of the floater stud, okay? And always, when you're drywalling, uh, minimize the joints, no matter what. Minimize the joints, okay? So uh, it's just pretty easy. Or if you're just boom, 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 you can just slip it through um, as well, okay? Uh, but then the idea is to keep everything flowing, right? So if the studs are coming down this way, okay, centers, then you got like, and your, and your, and your centers are going this way and this way, all right, you got to think about the flow of drywall. So now when you're inside of the room, it's flowing like a circle almost, okay? You're drywalling, you know, drywalling, boom. It's like, a, it flows, right? Make it flow. Always thinking about the drywall. That's all it is for taking centers. That's all it is. You just got to continuously think about where the drywall is going to go. It's just, it's really that that easy. So the more you get practice in drywall, the more you're going to understand layout. Okay. Trust me. It's uh, I didn't fully understand layout until I went drywalling full time. And I'm like, holy cow, I knew nothing about layout. Right. So uh, drywall, drywallers, if you don't do a lot of drywall, you can ask them, how would you like to, how do you like drywalling this? Okay. Like, so I, I know where to put my studs for you or whatnot, like your style, whatever, I, you know, you can, you know, I always do it myself the same way every time um, because I'm just, I protect, I perfected it over the years. Okay. Um, but yeah, so just keep, keep the flow of it in, in mind.